Hi, my name is Dan Dobrzynski. I'm a research engineer here at Argonne National Lab. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about AC Level 1 and Level 2 charging. First thing I'm going to talk to you today about is the standards work that we're doing at Argonne. SAE J 2953 is an interoperability standard between EVSEs and PEVs, which are plug-in electric vehicles and their chargers. It's based off of SAE J1772. J1772 basically characterizes EVSC and PEVs as components. What we're trying to do with SAE J2953 is actually characterize the PEV and the EVSC as a system. We think that doing this is going to give us a greater measure on 1772 as far as the effectiveness in terms of interoperability, and we also think it's going to identify standards gaps within 1772. The, one of the first things or one of the first tasks that we had to do with 2953 was actually define interoperability. And what we came up with is interoperability being the capability of a standards conforming device to function as intended with other standards conforming devices without special effort by the user. Let me tell you a little bit more about the test fixture we've developed here at Argonne. The test fixture that we have is a, gives us a system level analysis on insight to component to component interaction. Instead of testing the EVSC as one component and the PEV as another component, what our test fixture allows us to do is actually let the two components interact while our test fixture monitors the interaction between the two. Let me tell you a little bit more about the interoperability test fixture that we've developed here at Argonne. Uh, the approach that we've taken is to allow a real-world EVSE to communicate with the real-world PEV while we use our test fixture to actually monitor the communication back and forth and the signaling back and forth. Um, so our test setup is our EVSC here that's powered by the grid is actually going to be plugged into our test fixture. And our test fixture is actually linked to an oscilloscope and it has a real-time controller that's actually taking data uh, and the signaling that's happening between the EVSC and the PEV. Now our test fixture here actually has a J1772 cord set that's actually plugged in there at the vehicle. So now the vehicle is charging and in real time we can get a look at exactly the signaling and the communication that's happening uh, between, between both components. So with our interoperability test fixture and our work with the standards here at Argonne, we know that we can make electric vehicle charging more safe, more effective, and a more viable option for consumers.